Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nate, also known as B2Fan Nate, and welcome to week number 10? Maybe? I don't I don't really know. Uh, I think it's week number 10. I could be wrong. Uh, of the WBE, the World Battle Entertainment, today we are playing Bullet Punch Cub, coached by the Uzi Gunner, one of the coolest people in this entire league. He made the incredible, incredible uh what's it called video that you guys saw the trailer for the wbe so make sure you guys go show him some love hit that like button down below on both of our videos uh and check out the description because it has a link to his channel as well as the owners page and all that good stuff so also can you guys see this do you guys see this world shirt i went to the pokemon worlds over this weekend so that's why this video is late so i do apologize for that but i can't really apologize too too much because i had such a fun fun time while i was there okay no curum um and uh no other thing all right so let's put up the rotom frost i kind of figured that that would come it's pretty strong and then um there's also rhyperior and Amoongus. I kind of figured all those things could come. The, so I, I brought all of, uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I, I really didn't care what he brought because uh, I kind of just threw this team together. So if things make no sense on my side, which they probably will, um, then I, I'm i sorry. But uh, like I said, I was at Pokemon Worlds this weekend, so I didn't really have time for really doing anything too, too serious. Uh, I guess we'll get the shiny. And I, I don't regret it at all. It was so, so, so much fun. Um, it was literally, like, probably the um, the best weekend of my entire life. Uh, I met up with Envy, Galactic Elliot, Kelly, uh, under the radar. We had, uh, I met up with um, Kaylin, uh, Kcray, and, um, oh my god, it was so much fun. Holy Jesus, it was so much fun. We, we got to, uh, um watch all like the uh the tournaments and things like that and uh we, we had a break into our airbnb there's gonna be a vlog going up on kelly's channel so if um so i'll, I'll leave a link to kelly's channel um and, and eventually that'll go up uh hopefully there's like over an hour of just vlog footage of us just being probably drunk and funny we, we met up with some of the top vgc players over there um like some of the best like we, we, the, we a couple of the jamies um baz anderson uh, this other dude, I'm not sure if anyone really knows him, because that's because he said that no one knows who he is. But his name was uh, Vincent Vinny. Uh, dude was so so chill. Um, and there was another dude. Uh, his name was Kevin. God, everything was so cool. Oh my god, I. This is the focus blast was. I thought that was supposed to be surf. No. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Um, we're clicking it. Click the Focus Blast. Woo! I sh mm. Okay. I'm gonna switch out now. I'm not happy about this. I really thought you would just stay in. Okay. Now, the question is, is he gonna predict me to switch out here? Um... Moonblast is probably, uh, is that a safe play for him? I'm gonna go for Charge Beam. I'm attacking what's in front of me. This is a really bad play, like a super, super bad play, because we really do need our Arcanine. Uh, I mean, we really need this to be able to check his Arcanine a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry too, too much about that. This is a really good Pokemon, but I feel like uh, the way I've been playing is that there's no way he would do this. So I, I do that and then they do that and then it's like, it screws me up. So I'm just gonna do really stupid plays and maybe I'm gonna get over predicted and hopefully it'll work out. I don't really care if we win or lose. I'm just trying to, you know, have fun. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to do that with this game. As long as we don't get like stalled out with anything really, really silly then I'm having a good time. 
and it doesn't really look like he brought anything that can like stall me except for maybe tapu finny oh okay he's gonna okay he's scouting he's scouting he's scouting my guy my guy all right good plays good plays all right um so with this being said um I'm gonna click it again. He was scouting for that for that Z move. He was definitely scouting for that Z move. Um, I'm gonna go for the charge beam. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't really be doing this. Uh, he might just. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, he's switching. Wolfie's art. Okay. Charge beam. Okay. Um, so I have to be very careful here. Because we can get we can get spored. I don't think we got the boost from that. We did not. Um, so in, in to, to prevent our, ourselves from being spored. Um I think what I'm gonna do, I could go out into Poke Game here. Young, young, strong jaw, and because uh, Spore does like his obviously um, the way that it works, um, mm -hmm. is that because I'm flying, it like you know it's, it's still all right. So we can probably go for a curse here. Um, I'm gonna go for a curse. Stealth rocks are probably a little bit better in this situation. Uh, here's the Raphael. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so now we're gonna be at plus one attack, plus one defense. Um, let's open up damage calcs. I have my sets already imported. Uh, so Steelix, we're gonna go for plus one. Plus one, uh, minus one speed, and let's take a look at this Rhyperior. Let's see what kind of Rhyperior is going to be. Uh, let's just put in tank. So Earthquake is looking like it's about to do some damage, and because um, I could go for it again, but um, maybe it's safe just to click Earthquake. Or is Heavy Slam better? Um, we could go for it again. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. I, uh, I'm, if he goes out into something that's like flying, ooh, is he weakness policy? He, okay, hold up. Plus two, is he weakness policy? Um, because that would be very, very bad. He's not. Okay. Alright, so I get to go for Earthquake again. Um, I believe I live this. Plus two. Um, let's see. I don't live that. I don't live that, but we get to go out into our, uh, we get to revenge kill him, which is nice. Um, this thing is, it's very, it's, that's kind of crazy. Um, Z move right here is not something I would have expected at all. Super good, cool, really, really cool bring on his part. Um, oops, did I, I put the wrong thing. I meant to click, uh, my mon. So really, really cool mon, uh, to bring for sure. Um... I feel like I can go out into Lucario, but maybe not. I feel like it's not Lucario's time. Let's just go into Lucario, fire off a Dark Pulse, because, uh, I, not Lucario, um, Hydreigon. Because it does 34 to a Spadef one, 34 minimum to a Spadef one. He's probably got some, he's probably like max HP, max attack, or like a little bit of speed. Uh, I feel like Dark Pulse should get the kill here.
Wow, Z, Z move with Swords Dance is so, so cool. I really, really like that. All right, we're going to go for Dark Pulse. Um, I can't imagine it not killing. Okay, he's going to switch that out. Uh, he still thinks it's going to be useful. Okay, okay. Dark Pulse does so much damage. Holy Jesus. Okay, so that did... Hold up, Amoongus. Hold up. Um, a flamethrower. Are we killing with a flamethrower? Um. Okay, so Dark Pulse did about. Let's see. Um. So it did about forty-five percent. So flamethrower should definitely kill. Okay, he's gonna withdraw. All right, here's the Finny. He's playing very, very well, though. Playing super, super well. Um, my prediction is that he's actually going to click Moonblast this time. Like, I don't think he has a reason not to click Moonblast. Um, being the... with... But, so... We need, we need to bait out the... Um, okay, hold up. So I think what I want to do is I think I want to go out into Zapelli and just like combine Psychic, just kind of start doing that type of thing. Because I, I, there's a part of me that thinks that he's gonna go for like a like a Moonblast here. Um, could be wrong. I could be wrong. He could try try pulling a double, but I don't know how good of like I, I don't know if pulling a double is like the optimal play. We still have our Z-move intact, so if we were to go for, um, let's see. So we do switch out first, obviously, um, if he does decide to, okay, let's see what he does here. Okay, he does go for the Moonblast. Okay. So, I think I'm going to just click Calm Mine. Um, maybe he'll go for, like, Haze or something. We'll see what he does. He goes for Taunt. Nice play. Nice, nice play. So, the fact that he has Taunt, uh, is a pretty good indication that, um, he probably doesn't have Haze as well. Um, I'm gonna go for Psychic here, just because it's, like, it's, it's damage. He goes for Nature's Madness. Uh, that's cool. I'm okay with that. I need, um... I need to switch this out. That does some decent chip. Um. I don't really have good switch-ins to this, per se. I could just start firing off hyper voices. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out into, um, my uh, Sylveon here, and fi just fire off a Hyper Voice. I actually, I could, um, okay. We have Wish, so I'm not really too, too worried. Um, I kinda wanna go for Sub. I kind of want to go for sub. Um, actually, let me click Combine. Because <laughs> why would I have two Combine users? All right, so let's see. Let's see the Wolfie's art. So this is the... Okay. Dope. So let's see if this goes according to plan. Because I put it enough Spideff in here to... If he's not invested in special attack... Then we live, uh, like, our, our sub can't be broken. So, I'm gonna click Substitute here. Um, as maybe he tries to go for a clear smog. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does here. Um, he might try to switch out. Um, 
But we'll see. Alright, we go for sub. Let's see. Spore. Sweet. Okay. Alright. I'm going to... I'm going to calm mine again. He stayed in. This sh okay, so now whatever he does definitely doesn't break my sub. Unless there's like a move that does so much damage that I'm just uh, not aware. Okay, this this should not break my sub. Unless he's like specially invested. Okay. Alright. So... I get to go for a wish... And get all my health back. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so this next one does break- so next one breaks my sub. Alright, so this should be a free sub. Like, pretty much. And then... Yo, what was so funny about this set, dude, is that I was like, this set is not gonna work because he has things like Haze, he has Clear Smog, like, I, I, he has, like, probably, like, Whirlwind on something. I don't know. I was just like, this set's not gonna work at all, but whatever. It seems funny. So I decided to bring it. But I was just like, but there's a chance that, like, I, I like, literally EV'd this just for, like, an Amoongus, right? And I was like, bro, can you imagine he doesn't bring him a Moongus? Like, and when I say bro, I'm talking to myself, right? But, um, I, I literally just kind of threw this team together. This, it, like, the, and the whole reason behind this is because I knew it made no sense that he would not expect this at all because it's terrible. <laughs> um, but it, it's working. It's kind of working and it's kind of fire. It's a fire set. I'm not going to lie. Subcombine Sylveon, um, only has Wish. Okay. And now, um, whoa, high roll. Are we serious? Is that a crit? Whoa. How did that happen? Okay, hold up. He must have some sort of, um, like investment because there should no way that should have broken my sub um i'm at plus two plus two special attack um all right let's see sludge bomb how much investment do you need to break a sub he has to be like max special attack and even then it's a roll all right i'm gonna go for sub again i don't get i i don't know how that why why did that why did that work does he have haze on this too I, i'm very very confused because that should have like the, like he has to be max special attack if he's max special attack then he's got heat of the week for sure, because I would ne like never in my entire um, life would I ever prep for a um, for that type of you know thing. So I'm just gonna fire off a hyper voice. It should be um, okay. That should definitely break the um, the thing. But he's gonna take a plus two um, hyper voice, and it sh this should do so much damage. Hell yeah, it does. Um, I don't understand why you don't go into Arcanine here. Um, Arcanine eats this. Like, it should eat this. There's no stealth rocks up. Like, um, I don't I don't see why. Um, is there... I'm gonna just go for... I'm gonna, I could go for a Wish. And then Hyper Voice. I think. He might taunt me. I'll just go for Hyper Voice. Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. 
but Uzi played very very well. Um, it did. We did get rid of the pre uh, the prima primrose the primrose, so that's good. And now I don't know if, like what is going to. He can't spore me. He can sludge bomb me. But he can't toxic me. Um. Because I, I think the cycle just restarts, like, right? Like, we just go for Hyper Voice. Um, obviously, we saw that he doesn't have that much special defense investment. Hyper Voice should be doing, um, like, that's a really big chunk. Clear Smog. Okay, there's the Clear Smog. Okay. Okay, now I, I think I want to switch. Um... Um, do I st I'm still taunted, right? I have one turn. Okay. What was my move? I have, ooh, bro. All right, so here's another heat set that I wanted to bring because I kind of figured that I'm probably never going to bring this. Um, okay, so... We have the papaya, papaya berry. Papaya berry. There's a sludge bomb. Not very effective. All right. Uh, Misty Terrain should go away now. All right. So I'm going to click curse here because I think it's going to be really funny for a ghost type to actually use curse. And then whatever he has is going to be like taking some chip damage every single turn it's gonna be wearing everything down and then i can go for paint split and uh pretty much just like do that thing where i like um be annoying so yeah so that's that's the hope that's the dream he has no more uh protection from mystic terrain so uh not that i don't think clear uh, curse is like a it's not really a status condition though i think pretty sure uh, I have a notification. Uh, uh, it's from Leo. He just gave me eyeballs in a group chat. Battling Uzi. Um, he can get in call after. All right. So. Um, I don't know. I just think this is funny. This is like one of those other sets that, you know, you, you just, you don't know what someone's gonna bring. Oh, yes. Give me that chip. Yes. Yes, baby. Give me that chip damage. And we're about to hit him with the, uh, the pain split too. It's about to be fire. This is about to be fire. All right. We got the, we got the lefties. All right. <laughs> Look at that chip damage. Look at that chip. 25% every single turn. All right, so. I'm kind of scared, though. Um, I don't know if I live any other hits, though. I'm going to go I'm gonna go for pain split, though. Mm, or do I keep this around? Um, let's pain split. He, he might want to switch out into something, like, something else. Yeah. Yowie, yowie! Alright. We should be, uh, we should get some, some HP back from this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um... So, we do need to get rid of, um, um, I don't really know what I want to do. He might just be choice scarfed. 
But Specs Rotom with Blizzard would really, really suck. Like Specs Rotom, um, kind of is, is is it hurts. It hurts a bit. Um, and I'm intimidated, which is not good. All right, I think Sylveon probably doesn't have. It, it's probably the least useful member on my team, so I'm gonna switch it in anyway. Um. He's probably just going to click Volt Switch. But, um... It's fine. Thunderbolt. Okay, we're going to see. I go from 146. Um, okay. We actually take that really, really well. Um, I'm going to go for Wish. Or should I go for just a Hyper Voice? I'm, okay, so Sylveon's at 95 health. So, what's that mean? We're at 47%. Um, Thunderbolt went brought us down from 142, right? So, we are at 142. So, we are at 142, which was 70%. So, that did about 30. So, we won't be able to wish and then sub to be protected. So, I think maybe the play is just to... Um, well, is it still to wish? All right, I'm gonna go for the hyper voice here. It's it's he's gonna he's just gonna go out into the um, Wolfie's art. Oh, he so he's choice into that uh, for sure. Um, I should have clicked Wish, like, 100%. Sludge Bomb. It looks like it... Mm. So I could switch out into, all right, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to switch out into Astral because he's going to go for a poison move most likely. I don't see him going for Spore uh, and then I can kind of pivot back out. Um, Uh, and I think he's gonna go. I'm, and I'm gonna switch back out into. Um, Cause his Arcanine might outspeed me. Um, I don't know what type of Arcanine he's running. He switched directly out. I mean, I know he's Intimidate, but um, he may be running some speed uh, to speed creep a Lucario. So I don't. I don't want to be. It, it's like he could be offensive. Um, and there's no, like, I, he hasn't taken any damage aside from the, the curse, so. We'll see if he decides to switch, if he decides just to click, um, Spore. What does he decide to do? Hidden Power. Ooh, what is this? Fire? Hidden Power Fire? Okay. Um, do I just click Psychic here? I'm gonna click Psychic. He's, he, got, he got a speed tie on me, or is he just running some speed? That's not cool. Alright, so that's one. That's one turn to sleep. Um, dude, that sucks. But that means he's probably not going to put anything else on my team to sleep, because that's... You can't do that, right? Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go out into my Hydreigon. And... Um, just start firing off uh, Dark Pulses. Mm. 
Yowie, yowie. Um, I'm okay. Am I okay with this? He'd have to hit a blizzard. Um, and even then, I think we live that from full. Alright, so hold up. Hydreigon versus a... Because we went... That that did... Um, hold up. Rotom. Frost. Right? I think you're... I think he's choice scarfed. Um, Blizzard does 104 minimum if he's max special attack. He's probably... He might be Specs, though. He might be Specs. But he could also miss. Like I said before, I, I think my... Um, I think my, my Sylveon's the least important member of this entire game. So I'm gonna... Okay, he connects his Blizzard. What? How accurate is Blizzard? Blizzard... How accurate is Blizzard? Um, because I'm not calling it hacks, but I would have missed that move, like 100%. All right, I'm gonna click Wish. My dude hit two Blizzards. Uh, Blizzard accuracy. Okay, and I'm I'm pretty sure he's choice. Um, all right, let's see. Blizzard accuracy. So it is 70. 70 accurate. Um. Now. I could technic I, I don't. I don't know if it's safe to set up here. Um. Uh, I just don't know how fast his Arcanine is. If Is his Arcanine speed creeping my Lucario? That's the question. Like, I'm pretty sure he's scarfed into this. So I, I, need, I don't know if I should... Um, hold on, real quick. Hmm... <sighs> I, I don't know if I want to try to memento here and go for the sweep. Because if... I, I win if he's not speed creeping Lucario. Like... If he's just like full on defensive. Um... Alright, I'm gonna go out into... Go to streak here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the memento. I think... He is choice scarfed. Okay. So. Um, what, he, what happens if he switches out though here, right? Um, if he switches out here, right? And he goes out into. All right, let's see if he goes out into Arcanine, right? If he goes out into Arcanine, um, should I just go for a Shadow Sneak? Or should I go for Pain Split predicting him to do something else? I'm going to click Shadow Sneak. I think... Alright, let's see what he does. Raphael. Oh, he's gonna try to pull a sack here. Alright, um... If I click curse here, the, um, the damage will make him die. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click curse. 
Oh, he just goes for rocks. Okay. Those late game rocks though. All right. All right, so he's dead. Yo, this game is crazy. Also, Sylveon went down and nobody yelled at me for not taking it off. This game is cool. This, this is a good game, dude. This is a really good game. The Fiend, that sounds like uh, something I haven't seen before. So that's that. Um, do I die from a Mega Arrow? I think I'm going to click Memento because it's literally my only play. We may, we probably die. We most likely die. Um. Crunch. Yes, we definitely died of that. Definitely died of that. Now. Let's see. Um. Aerodactyl can definitely run Adamant versus me. Um, so, um, and so it looks like my so I can put him into bullet punch range. Uh, with my Hydreigon. Okay, and we got we got rid of um, got rid of that. So um, Charge Beam is also very free, but it's not a guaranteed to Ikea. But if we do get the plus one, then the next one is. But what if we just go for a regular? Um, Electrium Z. It does 74 to 89. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do. I think just going for Charge Beam is fine. Because we Charge Beam into Z Charge Beam. Stone Edge, he connects. Okay. This man has connected a charge. Uh, he has connected. He's connected two blizzards and a Stone Edge in a game. All in one game. That is so fat. What the hell? Why did that do so much? Why did that do so. I mean, why did that do so little? He's fat, dude. He's got that thickness. Um. I mean, I guess that's. I expected. Uh, okay, so I per like I expected um, around the forty-five-ish percent. I guess I got the low roll. But that did twenty. Okay, I get. Well, he's got a lot of HP. He doesn't need the speed. But that's good. That's good enough damage. That probably puts him in bullet punch range. That's all we needed. Um. So he's probably gonna go for a wing attack here. Um, I'm a little sad because it's like, man, I mean, I didn't, it's like, what am I going to do, man? I had no time to prep this week. And the one set, I'm really happy, man. We, we, we did, we played it. I think we played a really good game. I think we played a really good game. I just think that he brought some fire. The, he also got pretty lucky hitting all these moves. I wonder what's the percentage of like not missing a single move in a game. Um, I couldn't tell you. Um, so hold up. Aerodactyl versus, I mean, let's see if Slow, is Slowbro taking a hit and waking up. I think we get we're asleep. I think we get two KO no matter what, right? And 
he has the crunch. Crunch does 55 to 65. Um, Lucario. Lucario's bullet punch does 56 to 70. Um, I'd have to get set up. Uh, it's not even going to do that. Um, I guess I could just go for Meteor Mash. Well, I mean, if I Sword Stance, um, if I Sword Stance here, he Earthquakes though and knocks me out. I mean, he wins no matter what, but is there anything that I can do? I think I have to go for Sword Stance here because it's literally the only way that um, we put him in range. Like, Bullet Punch wouldn't have gotten the kill. Um, so it's like, there was literally nothing I could do. It's just uh, the Mega Arrow cleans up. So I'm going to say GG uh, to Uzi. Uh, he played uh, very, very well. Uh, I brought Wakan on this thing for like offensive like Arcanine but yeah, I didn't even get to see what Arcanine did just switched out um that's gonna be a guaranteed to a KO so GG um what can you do man what can you do um I'm really I'm really not too mad about anything a little disappointed because my record is doo-doo but I know you guys always show the support no matter what. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and thank you to Uzi for the fantastic game. 4-0. Um, it's whatever. Uh, have yourselves a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.